to people who are returning. Hello guys, hope you're doing well today. In today's video, I want to share with you five stages of procrastination. It's a little bit longer video, so make sure to see uh, it till the end because in the end, I will also share uh, all the strategies, how you can actually tackle all these stages. So make sure on which stage you are so you can actually tackle this procrastination in the different stage with a different strategy. And also, if you want to see this article, I will post the link down below. So make sure to check this out because yeah, I tried actually to explain, but it's a pretty large theme. So if you want to see it in depth, please make sure to check out the article. Let's jump in with the first thing. The first stage of procrastination is, uh, I call it this essential procrastination. This essential procrastination is when you procrastinate when you are securing your life or your lifestyle and which you're, it's like, you know, you do your procrastination because you have to eat something, you have to drink something, so you're doing a job in which you actually hate so what you do is you procrastinate in a job because it disaligned with yourself it means you do procrastinate even you might think i don't procrastinate but because you hate this job this is a kind of procrastination that we are really unconscious of so this is like 90 percent of people are really uh, in this kind of procrastination of this world they are doing the jobs they really hate just in sake for money and to have the clothes and yeah, yeah, clothes and uh, food on the table. So, and what is the most bad thing on this procrastination type is when you try to go out. It's like, you know, actually the crabs in the bin, when a crab starts to go and moving, you want to go out of the bin, the crabs are dragging you down. And the same thing has actually happened with the other people. When you try to go out of the procrastination zone, like out of the box, People are trying to drain you down and those people what we can do a massive commitment and involves also a high risk when you actually want to go against it. What you can actually do to do it step by step because what some people are saying okay I'm quitting my job from from tomorrow of now and what I'm doing is I go inside my side hustle, I do it my side hustle, my main hustle and just do and go, go, go for it. Uh, but the most people, uh, which are more a smooth transition from normal uh, from normal work, from nine to five to the side hustle is, um, they actually do like two, three hours in the evening, this pen on body on the side hustle, or even 20 minutes or something like that, but they are really laser light focused for the side hustle. And they do the side hustle and try to, it's really hard hard to manage the time and work but if you can manage it you can uh, monetize your art or your side hustle more and more and more and more until you realize okay the side hustle gives me more than actually the real hustle and when you see okay I can actually afford it I can actually afford the taxes and everything which is around your side hustle then you can go out of it Oh, yeah, and really important is to detach you from this person who are dragging you down. It's really hard, but you can do it more and more and more, really step by step, detaching you from this person. Of course, if it's your, if it's your um, husband, if it's your spouse, or if it's your own, you know, if you want boss, or if it's your own relative, it's pretty harsh, but you can actually do it. It's, it's not impossible, okay? So the second step is. It's obsessive procrastination. For excessive procrastination is like a drug, it's like playing computer things. Speaking of computer games, what you can do is an obsessive thing. Many people have the perception that obsessive procrastination is the worst thing of procrastination. I mean, okay, you can procrastinate with having, having drugs or, you know, smoking cigarettes or, you know, drinking alcohol, but there are always a possibility to take, not always, but let's take like things of uh, many people say like computer games are also really bad for you it makes you really obsessive it might be but it's really hard for us to push against an obsession it's really hard for us to push against obsession so 
why don't put your obsession into your passion? Because when you're obsessive, with, you are passionate about it, and then you can put it into your hustle. Uh, people like Ninja on Twitch, uh, he makes millions. Uh, nobody knows him two years ago, but last year he just exploded because of Fortnite. Or let's say PewDiePie. Before he did like his Let's Plays and everything, now he just do me reviews, okay? And everything. If you don't know how these things all works, you can actually ask people. Because in our old Chinese proverb says, if you do, if you want to know how difficult it is to climb a mountain, ask the people who are returning. Which we have is uh, unconscious procrastination. The unconscious procrastination. Oh man, uh, where does this actually happen? Unconscious procrastination is when you have like really bad habits, like. The first hour of the day, a really famous one. Uh, what do you do? Where do you check your uh, WhatsApp or when I went to Tokyo, yeah, with flying messages? Before you actually see it, you you land it into WhatsApp, Facebook, Atlas scroll, and the first two hours of the day are just going away. So again, I said it also in other street and other videos and streams also Facebook live if you want to uh, check this out I can actually link down my Facebook page down below because I'm doing my Facebook lives also every single day so what you can do is uh, first of all if you do this procrastination thing you can actually a practical thing if you if you watch a mobile phone put it on the table somewhere where you have to go off the bed. When you go off the bed it's really hard to return. So make this returns rebound effect really hard for you, but make this action to put the mobile phone not close to you but to your to desks which uh, which you have to go one two steps. Really hard uh, re really um, easy for you like to do it in the previous day, okay? So make the trigger like to putting this trigger really easy, but um, the new trigger but the rebound effect really hard okay so this is actually two things you have to be careful for it and another mental thing now when you're doing a job or something like that or things you're doing right now and you hate it also like your pattern that you hate it really simple exercise which might hurt some of you what you do it now imagine that you are doing this thing for five years, for ten years, for forty years straight. How does it feel to you? Do you feel happy? Do you feel good? Or do you feel guilty for yourself and full of regret? This is the first question. Another nice exercise is also against this kind of procrastination is had one of my mentors had introduced to me. Imagine you're lying on a dying bed. And all of a sudden, before you pass away, some of you, your grandchildren, and your maybe also your own children, are talking to you. Say, do you regret the life you have lived, or you enjoyed every single moment and lived in abundance? There you have some option. You can actually lie and say, oh, I have regret. But what you do is you f you actually pass away with guilty in your heart. Not the best option, okay? You can say no. And then you pass away with regret. But there's another better option to actually say, and not say nothing, but to buy it right now, where you live, not just about to die. So, where you really living, you now really buy it on it. Try to make the really day your day, not day of someone. Or okay, you can do it. Make you make the day of someone, but because when you actually help these people, but I mean your day by by um, really going within your past. Really don't going away from your core beliefs and your core self and your purpose 
And the thing is actually, regret is the most painful thing we can experience as human beings. And this is the most thing we want to actually go away from. It's mentally so hard, it might be even more harmful than physical pain. So really, when, do you want to leave this world in vain or not? It's up to you. The fourth stage, it's really easy stage, is uh, protest procrastination. It's like the children, if you go like in the shop or something like that, and the mother said, yep, and the mother said, you were a bad boy, so you don't get this toy. And then, give me the toy, give me the toy. And, or small children are hurting the school, the dentist, and don't want to go there. But this is actually essential for them. They the know deep inside it will help them. But because they had the pain of that, and they don't just want to go there. And this is really thing. Uh, or actually, also thing like in school, if you want to have to learn for the example uh, for this um, for your exam, and all of a sudden all your you know buddies came and say, "Oh, come on, it's nice weather, let's play," and all of a sudden you go and play. What is actually happening about this? What Smith had actually taught it is self-love. If you say like, "I love myself that much that I don't that I know when I go out right now, I will help myself." So I know I love myself that much that I have to study right now for the exam that I don't will uh, not pass this exam and feel guilty for it and feel regretful for it. So actually self-love is a key against it. Fifth stage. Is I do not have anything special to do so I procrastinate. It's a thing like you really just want to kill the time and just procrastinate. And what are doing against it? It's simply going for reading or meditation, headspace. Doing so, you can actually fight against it in a really uh, efficient way. So I hope you get some value from it. Hey, how's it going? I hope you like my content. If so, hit the like button. And if you really like this content, make sure to share it with your friends and your beloved ones. I upload every day, so make sure that you hit the notification bell and the subscribe button in order to see more of these videos in the future. I wish you an awesome day and as always, do not lie to yourself and pursue your passion now.